get some sun peeps get some sun it was such a windy windy run but it was super slow it felt like but i could definitely tell that when i was against the wind i literally cut my time by a minute <laughs> so that's pretty crazy but hey got some sun it felt good other than the wind i wasn't thinking about it too much but it feels good now getting some sun all right guys back in the lab as you guys can tell the trusty garage gym setup now guys i'm not gonna lie to you the last couple weeks honestly i've not been motivated at all whatsoever i've been procrastinating my workouts i don't know what the heck it is like it's working out just is like kind of just indifferent about it like uh not even uh like there's a couple times where i was like ah, i don't even say i don't even think i've been dreading it but this week is different and uh yeah just been getting back on the honestly i've been in my routine and just <laughs> i just have not been like pumped to train even though it is fun and i feel good after i don't know what it is maybe i need pre-workout i don't freaking know but anyways today we're gonna knock it out and i also need to re-up on some groceries it is thanksgiving week so i'm gonna take you guys with me to the grocery store show you guys the things i get and then kind of just go over the things but this whole video is kind of just gonna be based around like the whole motivation thing and just knocking it out because i feel like we all go through it and there's seasons where you're feeling good and pumped and like you literally want to train all day and there's other seasons where you could go a couple days without training even though you know you're gonna feel like shit and uh you know you just do it because you know you should do it and i feel like i'm in that season right now even though it's still fun and you know it's just so hard to get started sometimes and i feel like that's what it is with me i almost procrastinate and i like oh you know but yesterday i literally didn't think about it i just started going and doing it and it was a great workout it was super fun and kind of lit up those juices again so that's exactly what we're gonna do today and then we're gonna go to the store pick up those things make this week count because it's turkey week and uh we got some good meals coming up with some family so we want to enjoy that so I'm gonna show you guys how we go about it Alright guys, so you guys saw me doing the uh, strict handstand push-ups right now. I'm trying to figure out how to figure out and learn how to do hipping handstand push-ups. Now I have done them before and uh, I remember being pretty efficient at them, but not having like a CrossFit coach in hand kind of telling you what to do. Like these gymnastic movements are so different to me and very uncomfortable, but I can do straight hand push-ups all day. But the kipping ones just feel funky. I feel like that's just because, I don't know. Anyways, learning from Christy Aramo. She has awesome tips. Go check her out on YouTube. But hopefully we get these down. I got about eight. They're not the prettiest. They're not the most efficient, but I'm kind of getting it. You learn something new every day. Those probably looked absolutely horrible, horrendous, but <laughs> practice makes perfect. too bad kind of getting better those tips are helping i honestly had very little faith i just kind of sent it but what makes a big difference is establishing that tripod as you guys saw in the first set that's what i was trying to do and now whenever i kick up be fully in the extension and then set up and then go that's awesome also quick little tip guys i just got a gymnastics mat off of amazon it was probably like 20 bucks or so and it's pretty thick so i use this for when i come down off of rope climbs i set it at the bottom that way it doesn't hurt my feet but also it's perfect for handstand push-ups was the main reason i got it and i literally just set it up on my door this door is like pretty slick i wouldn't recommend doing it on the wall like this but just find the door that's kind of slick this one just on the side of our house so it doesn't really matter and the foot marks wipe off very easily so that's where i have it set up and that's where i'm doing it and uh yeah pretty pumped on it let's go another set Still 
kind of sloppy, but better than before because I couldn't even really do them. Also, again, this is just muscle memory, kind of retraining myself to learn these, and uh, yeah. I honestly think that was my best set so far. Again, I got some more cues. Trying to come down and not have the feet, my feet touching the wall, exploding up with the hips. And then once I'm like kind of weightless, comes the shoulder press type of movement. And then heels back together, nice and tight at the top to keep that core and that midline straight and then good form. So all these little tips have been helping. And that's how you learn, guys. That's how you learn. Hope my videos kind of do that for you guys as well. But yeah, honestly, we might have to cut the workout short just because I have a lot of other things to do. But at least we made this mental movement progression. It might have not been the best workout. I did go on a run. I did get those shoulder press. But yeah, we might have to cut a little short. I am going to do the host of bars next. But yeah, I feel like that was the best set so far. All right, guys. So a couple of little tips on that. So tripod. What did I mean by tripod? This is what I mean by tripod right here. So check this out. So your hands are here, and if your head was directly in the middle, you would be in a straight line, kind of wobbly, not stable at all. But what we want to do is form a strong base, a tripod, so hand, hand, boom, triangle, a triangle at the top is going to be your head. So that's why whenever I kick up, I always kind of move my head back like this. Now I have my triangle. Boom, boom, boom. And what that does is it creates that strong, nice, solid base, which I found to been the difference because before that, I would literally just wobble off, fall completely off. I didn't know how to keep myself on the wall. Next, it's gonna keep your core and midline strong, secure, which is what it taxes a lot of on this movement. And then next is kipping. So for the kipping part, it's almost like a push press, guys. Like think of a thruster. When we do a thruster, using the hips popping and literally it's coming up all from the leg movement. And all we do is kind of catch it at the top, right? and a thruster, quick little key for that. Grab some dumbbells, boom, and you're literally just gonna practice the initial pop. So have them right here, and this is gonna translate and exactly, you're gonna know what I mean by that hip pop and then the extension at the top on the handstand pushup. So boom, right, boom. That's literally just me driving my feet and my legs. Boom, boom, you see the dumbbells? Completely weightless, that's all for my legs, right? So now let's do the lockout at the top, boom. Boom, it's weightless, and I literally just lock out at the top. Boom, now let's see that weightlessness. Boom. So what that's gonna do, when you're at the bottom of the handstand push-up, your legs come down and you pop with your legs. You literally do that little lockout at the end. I'll show you guys again, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but this is an awesome little cue to kind of get that mind-muscle connection to know what I'm talking about, so then you know how, how it's supposed to feel and what I mean in the handstand push-up. Strong base, tripod, boom. Legs come down, boom. Big pop, lockout. Boom, and those are quick few little tips. Now again, I'm not the best at these because I haven't done these in months, but still with those few tips and cues that I just learned right now and that I'm teaching you guys, you guys are gonna be able to start doing these and practicing them. Again, lower yourself and control yourself back down. You don't wanna hurt your neck because I've actually hurt my neck doing these before in a workout because I was just freaking standing it, <laughs> not controlling it back down. To control it back down, boom, go ahead and practice these. Practice getting comfortable on the wall. Practice doing that tripod stance. Literally just kick up like this. That's what I mean by that tripod stance. Practice that, and then eventually you'll be able to start doing these guys. But yeah, hopefully those cues helped out. All right, guys, so for this toe-to-bar workout, 
Gonna be trying out these Victory Grips three finger full coverage, new design that they have. I've used these before in a workout and absolutely loved them. And yesterday I used fingerless grips for my pull up. And today I'm gonna be using finger hole grips so I can use that dowel effect to get that torque on these toes bars because it's a lot and I know I'm gonna need it. So we're gonna try these out again for this workout. It's full review, full like comparison and just grip guide video coming very, very soon in the future. I have to test them out and put them through the ringer first before I make a video on it. I don't wanna freaking just make a random video for you guys. Anyways, we have toast to bar, kipping toast to bar. We have four sets of eight with 20 second rest in between. Rest two minutes, three sets of 10, 20 second rest in between, and then two sets of 12. So, locks and locks. My core is gonna be f***ed up. rest and then we're gonna get into our third or into our three sets of 10 reps honestly that last set got hard <laughs> not gonna lie so this two minute rest is gonna do me good and then it's only three sets of 10 should be good and then two sets of 12 but yeah 20 seconds in between it's feeling good the grips are doing pretty good i thought they're gonna slip out of my fingers one of the sets because they were up here but i'm digging this because then i can leverage it once i start getting tired the torque on it just, uh, just kind of takes the puts the weight onto your like wrist area instead of your grip which is good Uh, three sets of 10 in the books. One thing I did start doing, how I said my fingers were slipping, I moved them to the middle crease, so the middle of my knuckle, and I feel like that's giving me a whole lot better grip and it feels a lot better, so try that out. Try out the different little points that you can use the grip. I would recommend them in the middle because that's what they told me to do, and honestly, it feels better, but I did have to chalk them up because they were getting slick, but once I chalked them up, super grippy, so yeah. We're gonna go two sets of 12, which are gonna be hard because this last set was super hard. Plus, that's gonna be hard. I try to just big kip on every single one, try to get my abs as much out of as possible. So that one's gonna be tricky, but after, see you guys. You guys didn't know i did start a tech youtube channel and uh, i did make a unboxing and I'm doing a review video on these but for now these have to go back to the store because i bought them for battlefield specifically for the launch of it and i uh, just wanted to try out these headphones and get the full experience but after using them they're definitely going back and i'm going to pick up different ones and do a whole video on those as well and then probably just end up seeing which ones i decide to go with but for now these are going back and if you guys haven't go check out my tech youtube channel tech lift yeah type in tech lift rod or just tech lift and you guys will find me go subscribe if you guys are into tech and things like that unboxings reviews things like that so nerd at heart so decided to start that as like my hobby slash like side channel and uh, having fun with it gonna go return these get some groceries and then pick up those new ones yeah all right guys we are back at the store now thank you guys so much for sticking along and watching this video but basically what i want to talk about like i said in the beginning was kind of how i overcome those times where i'm not motivated to work out where i'm not super pumped on my routine and what i found is that you need some sort of structure guys you need something that's going to get you out of bed every morning something that you're working toward that you know is going to get you x result now having structure will always get that for you whether that peace of mind whether that's a certain physical Physique, whether that's a certain uh, number you want to push on a certain lift etc having that structure is just super important and crucial and now I feel like that's what had been missing recently in my life I've had a crazy past maybe two weeks where just super crazy workloads um, super crazy taking on other projects 
and I've really figured out that I needed just that structure and uh, having that kind of disciplinary thing that I follow every single day. So what I've been doing is getting back on my structure slash routine as best as possible. Even though I have a routine, it's kind of all over the place still. So structure, uh, having something in place some kind of gives me direction and with direction comes results in terms of uh, getting better mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever that may be guys. So that's what I found during this season of just not being too pumped to work out, etc. And I don't get me wrong, like I've hit a back squat PR, I hit a clean PR, I'm learning handstand pushups, like I've had all these wins lately in my training, like right toward the end of like the end slash beginning of me getting not pumped to you know work out so it was like toward the end of like my training block um to where i was like you know feeling good and then kind of the start of like me not being pumped on working out that's when i noticed it and i noticed it during that super busy season where i just was having super late nights um things like that uh taking on you know lots of projects to where I kind of had to, you know, mix things up in terms of like my schedule and routine and sometimes even put training on the back burner in a way. Um, there's a week where I worked out four times a week, but don't get me wrong, I put in like long ass sessions those four days to where I felt like I needed the rest day and then just being sore and on top of like maybe like low sleep kind of just does not help. So how I have combated that, like I said, is having structure, having that routine, guys. So that's helped out so much. Um, and yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Anytime you're in a funk, anytime you're feeling weird about, you know, your training, not excited, not fun, um, either just set some sort of structure in place yourself or jump on a program, jump on a program that you think looks fun. Uh, maybe set yourself a goal, whether that's to gain a little bit of weight, put on a little bit of muscle or to lose weight, kind of shred down, um, etc. And if you need help with that, hire a coach. I am a nutrition coach, guys, for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, hit that link in the description. My 90 Day Lean Body Aesthetics program is going to be going live for Black Friday discount the 25th of November, which is Thursday, a day after this video goes up, guys. So go and check that out, guys. Take advantage. Uh, the one and only time that I, that's ever going to be discounted like that. But yeah, take advantage, guys. Get that structure in place. Get that discipline and uh, just get back to loving and making progress uh, in your fitness, guys. And, you know, having love and fun in your fitness is super important. I mean, I've kind of just been getting it done lately, but I miss that fun and I'm slowly getting back to it. Hope that helps you guys. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, back home now. Here are what basically what we got. The rice that I went for, they didn't have it, so I had to go with Uncle Ben's. We got basmati and then we got jasmine rice. These tortillas are absolutely amazing, guys. 45 calories for this humongous thing and tons of fiber, 11 grams of fiber. So I have like two of these a day maybe and I'll be good to go on my fiber. Got some veggie chips. I got so many people onto these guys with great value. Brand is really good, but unfortunately the only flavor they have is Zesty Ranch. I prefer the Zesty Ranch. Go check out Target. I believe they have um, like hot Cheeto dust ones. They have like sour cream and onions. So go check that out. And then this has been like my spread. It's awesome on rice and uh, surprisingly really low on calories and it's really good on tilapia. So I've been throwing that on tilapia and even eggs and it's super bomb. Frozen blueberries, you guys know I live off those for my oats. And then we got those drinks, the Zevias Topo Chicos. Awesome to switch it up and just have like a nice little bubbly drink. And then of course we got the nerd tech goodies over here, the wireless headset. I'm gonna be doing a review and unboxing on this and uh, a charger station thing. Cause believe it or not, I went through batteries pretty quick. So this is just quick plug and charge kit. More nerd talk over on my tech channel at Tech Lift. Go check it out guys. I'm um, in subscribe. I'm doing a video a week on there. So go check it out if you're into tech and things like that. So yeah, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this. All right, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. As you guys saw, we learned a new skill today. You guys got some tips on how to just push through those times where you're unmotivated and don't feel like working out or you kind of just feel like you're kind of meh about things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you guys can see, I'm in the freaking Christmas spirit. If you guys haven't checked out the previous video, the CrossFitters Holiday Gift Guide, go ahead and check that out, guys. Also, go over to my tech channel as we're doing reviews, unboxings, and all those sorts of things. And if we can grow this year, we might be doing a tech giveaway. So if you're into tech, you like to nerd out like me, go over there and check it out. Tech lift and yeah the next video is going to be like more of like a thanksgiving holiday vlog i'm going to show you guys what i eat different things like that and uh the workouts leading up to that and after so stay tuned for that video hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys road to a thousand subscribers let's go breakfast club ctg we out this beat